Hey guys, what's going on? Forgive me if I sound like crap. I have a little bit of the crud going on. Just sinus, but whatever. That's besides the point. Today we're going to be doing a DC Multiverse unboxing. This time it is a two-pack, and we've got Bizarro and Batzaro. So, without further ado, I think we should crack it open. Alright, so there is an insane amount of glare going on, but when I received this, I don't know, a month ago or so, you could tell, well, I don't know if you could really tell, but the box is absolutely destroyed. I got mine from Big Bad Toy Store, but we're not in-box collectors, so let's go ahead and crack this open. But I do want to show off the back of the box, because I really dig that artwork. And as far as I know, it seems like there's going to be an extra backdrop on the bot when I open it up. So let's go ahead and do that. In all honesty, I couldn't tell you the reason why I waited so long to open this two-pack. I probably got it when there's still snow on the ground here in Minnesota. It is now April, middle of April, and we are now finally opening it. And let me tell you, I have been waiting for a new Bizarro for the longest time, and to get the Batman equivalent of that as well is super sick. But we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the figures later. Let's take a look at this cool backdrop that we got. I just kind of appreciate that for a moment. So you got like this city metropolis backdrop, and most of these McFarland toys two packs come with this cool stand this cool stylized molded painted stand and they're really cool of course we get the trading cards so let's go ahead and take a look at those accessories so like i had mentioned i do want to talk about the accessories first and foremost you get these trading cards that come with every dc multiverse figure and i believe these are from a very specific storyline and i have not read it but i definitely want to check it out we got bizarro here which funny enough the card actually goes that way upside down so, like I had mentioned, we get these cool stands that they go on. Then you got the peg hook. You got the pegs there that you can stick the figures on. And truth be told, why they are really cool and they're really cool mold molded, they do use kind of like the same molds for a few of them, just kind of paint them differently. This one seems brand new and it is really cool. It's really sick. For me, it might just have to be a standalone Bizarro stand because it looks like there's only one peg. I could be wrong here. Nope. There's another one there, but truth be told, I think that they don't really stand up on these that well, if I'm being honest. Secondly, we get a pair of open hands for Bizarro and a pair of closed fists for Batzaro. And what would a Bizarro be without this Bizarro number one necklace medallion type deal? That was the main thing that was missing from the first release of Bizarro. All right, we're going to go ahead and talk about the action figures itself. First up, we've got Batzaro. And you can see he's got the backwards, or I'm sorry, upside down version of the bat symbol on the chest. And it's actually kind of uniquely molded, where you can see like how it's supposed to be behind it. And then uh, this guy has like no eyes and a really creepy twisted smile. It's pretty neat. Going down to the belt, pretty hefty, solid utility belt. And back to the cape. The cape is very Batman-ish. The gray undertones on the back there. And then uh, he's got the gray and black suit going all the way down to these really cool boots and everything. Even the gauntlets on the wrists are pretty neat. Personal opinion, it seems like it's the same or at least very similar mold to the Dark Knight Returns Batman that we got. But all in all, it's a pretty cool figure. I like it. Let's talk about articulation because there's something that I'm noticing. Has this always been there? What is that articulation? I mean, I own like hundreds of McFarlane's and I don't know if there's ever been this thigh 360 piece of articulation I don't know let me know in the comments but I'm like looking around in my collection as we speak right now and I just don't really see much of that maybe on the Dark Knight Returns ones but anyway uh the head of course is kind of limited so it kind of just does a 360 to be honest with you it doesn't really move up and down too well it could just be stiff joints yeah there we go all right so he does do a look up and that is creepy because he doesn't have any eyeballs shoulder articulation of course McFarlane is designed for 22 points of articulation he's got the elbows and the hands and wrists of course a lot of stiff joints on this figure so be careful with it uh got some ab crunch going on there not a lot it does move slightly can we get a 360 there we go the thighs are pretty limited articulation they don't really go up too much because of the Big, massive Batman utility belt. We got that knee articulation, and 
Yeah, this thigh swivel is really interesting, but also kind of annoying because this leg is really loose. Not so much this one, but this leg is like really loose. On mine, at least. We get the ankle and the foot, of course, as always. But it's a pretty solid sculptured figure. I am noticing that I don't believe that these guys came with standard, regular stands, which is kind of weird. So maybe I might have to make this stand work. So we'll put that in the background, play around with it, see what we get out of it. But let's go ahead and take a look at Bizarro. So I did swap out the hands for these open hands because I feel like this kind of just fits the essence of what this character is. And one thing you'll notice is that he's got like a, a really dark colored blue suit as well as like a really heavily dark red and even yellows to go on there but of course bizarro is like the frankenstein's monster of superman and honestly guys this figure really just captures the essence of this character it's got that really menacing face with the expressive eyebrows and the squiggly kind of hair all the way down to the menacing teeth as well as the swirly butt chin if you would call it that. Really uh, cool feature here on the back. They got the Superman S, but of course it's backwards, as well as the front of the suit. So this Bizarro obviously tops the previous release Bizarro. Of course, different timeline, different story, arc, all that kind of stuff. Of course, we're gonna get a different Bizarro. As far as articulation goes, that does do a 360. His head can move up and down, if you wish. Shoulders and no bicep swivel, which is kind of bizarre. Get some elbow articulation there. It's got, look at those triceps. Look at that tricep meat, holy crap. And the shoulder has got this deal here. The torso can also get a 360 spin. It looks like they got some additional, I don't know if you would call that foil on there. I'm not really sure, but it's very glossy. The trunks are like rubbery molded on it. So you're gonna get a little bit of luminate articulation legs goes up to about there the knees go to about there the toes the ankle does kind of whatever you want to so and what would bizarro be without his medallion or his necklace that says bizarro number one on it and with that you complete the look of bizarro it's a perfect bizarro action figure now as far as this stand goes i'm gonna kind of mess around with it and see what we can get away with so it seems like i've got it kind of where i want it it is by no means perfect, and I'm not going to even lie to the internet and say, hey, I am this great action figure poser, because I am not. I really am not. But taking a look at these two figures, they actually look halfway decent on this sculpture. So let me know what you guys think. Is it a downfall for McFarlane that we've done away with as far as this two pack goes? Unless I'm missing something, but I don't see it in the packaging at all that we have done away with the extra regular stands. Somewhat bothers me a little bit, but if I can make this work, it looks pretty neat. So that is my review of the Batman, or I'm sorry, the Batzaro and the Bizarro two pack for McFarlane Toys. What would you rate it? Let's see. The Batzaro is a pretty cool release by himself. It's decent. I could have definitely seen it being like a gold label figures, but the Bizarro by itself, I mean, if you could find this set, the Bizarro was worth it alone. You really get the best of both worlds here. A character we've wanted for a while and then a new ish kind of character. So something that we haven't had before, different version of Batman. And I will never complain about too many Batmans on like most of the world. So let's go ahead and give this a grading or rating and we're going to give it a solid B plus. It's a great release. I do think with the lack of, well, I guess kind of lack of accessories is kind of like really the only downfall. But then again, what else did you want in this pack? So B plus is where I stand on this. I really enjoy it. It's going to look great on the shelf. And uh, of course, let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. Go ahead and give me a subscribe. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you like action figures and action figure content and all that good stuff. Like this video, share it with your friends, and I appreciate everyone watching. And until the next action figure review, I will catch you all later. Peace. Thanks for checking it out.